This is the Friday update from Orange City Campus of Living Water Community Church. My name is Gary. I'm one of the pastors at Living Water. And sometimes technology is incredibly frustrating. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've been working hard at doing the uh, live streaming. I've been working hard at doing the updates here. And it has been a struggle this past hour or so, this Friday, as I've been trying to upload stuff, as I've been trying to connect it in different ways, it's just not working very well. And that's an analogy. I love analogies. If you know me, you're going to find this out that I love to say it's kind of like this. And as I look through our Christian life, as we come off of a series, remember, called Messy, we understand that not everything works perfectly because of sin, because of this messy world that we live in. It's an uphill battle. It's a struggle sometimes. And as we move into this uh, really Acts series, as, as it really becomes something that we dive into, I want you to understand and I want you to know that it wasn't always easy for that early church. In fact, we're going to spend some time on chapter 2 where we find out that as Jesus told them to go and wait for a gift, they had to sit around and wait for a pretty good period of time. In fact, as they were waiting, was it maybe possible that they were kind of wondering what's happening? Is this promise that he gave us really real? Is he forgetting about us? Is there something that we missed? And I think as we think about that in our lives, as we put that into our context, we can relate to the disciples pretty well. And we can understand that our struggles aren't really that far away from some of the things they might have been feeling. They push it a little bit further as the Holy Spirit comes upon them, as they break through some limits that they had placed on themselves. They talk different languages. They spread the gospel in ways that they didn't think they could do before the Holy Spirit. And so I want to use that example. I want to look at that story and I want to see what that means for us today. What does it mean to break through some limits that you've placed on your life? What does it mean to do some things that you didn't think you could do because of the power of the Holy Spirit? I'm excited to talk about Acts chapter 2 with you, and I can't wait for you to be here on Sunday so that we can go through that book together. Just a couple of reminders for things for your calendar. Don't forget to stick around this Sunday after the service because Sandra, my wife, uh, she's been working at Atlas, and Atlas does a great job of mentoring people, of walking alongside people, and she's going to give some updates on what that looks like to do that on a living water basis, what that looks like to do in our particular church. So stick around after the service and hear from her about some of those mentoring things. And then also, don't forget, we have our sign-up Sunday. You've heard me talk about it before. August 18, uh, you're going to have an opportunity before the service and after the service to get signed up for particular ministries around living water, around the community. One that I want to highlight especially is our cadet program. We partner with the other Christian Reformed churches and we need to have a couple of counselors. If you have any questions about what cadets is, if it's a tap on the shoulder that you might be needing to serve that way, then talk to me after the service or talk to Jamie Skibout. He was our representative from Living Water last year. So be thinking about cadets just a little bit. And then way advance, I want you to know this. I want you to mark your calendar for Serve Sunday. That's going to be September 15 this year. I'm going to give you all kinds of details in the next couple of weeks. But for now, I want you to know that Serve Sunday is a Sunday where we don't gather here to worship. Instead, we gather out in the community to worship. Instead of uh, singing songs, instead of a message, our service, our worship is going to be actually doing things in the community. That's how we're going to love the Lord. That's how we're going to show the love that He has given us on that day. So September 15 needs to be marked on your calendars. I want to circle back to Acts chapter 2, and I want to say that this Holy Spirit idea, this understanding of God's presence living within us is something that we cannot help but get excited about. And so join us on Sunday. Uh, as we talk about the Holy Spirit, as we understand just a little bit more of what He can do when we allow Him to break through our limits. Let's see you this Sunday.